Hey guys, McCookies and Games here. Welcome to another video in the Gates of Hell Dramatic tutorial series. Um, in this episode, we're going to look at uh, artillery units and how to script artillery. I'm going to show you three methods or, or three different ways you can do it. Uh, so this top gun here, this first gun, we're going to have it fire at one position uh, every 30 seconds. The second gun is going to fire only once at one waypoint. The third gun will set up to fire at three different positions um, and it will randomly choose which position. Let's begin. So these guys all have their own individual tag, as you can see, gun one, gun two, and so on. Place down some waypoints. So gun one will have fire over here. Gun two will have fire in the center and gun three will have fire here, here, and here. All right, so in the commands, we're going to set up a, a delay first. Then go actor, actor fire. The selector will be the first gun tag. Uh, we're going to select the position because we want the gun to fire at the position, which is the waypoint. And waypoint zero. Long burst mode and tick the box only weapon and we want to select the main gun. From my understanding, cheating is got to do with ammunition. So they're already set to AI, so they have unlimited ammunition anyway. Then we want another delay and we'll set it to um, every 20 seconds. The gun will then refire. And we need a trigger command. Select the trigger and that is gun one beat. Uh, click the gun trigger folder here and go Alt C and copy it and delete the last two commands. What we want to do is put the waypoint one of the second gun and change the tag to be gun two. Sweet, that's done. Gun three. Um, we'll have a delay of one and then hopefully I can remember this off the top of my head. We want a wall command entities select gun three. That's fine. Inside we want a switch command. Then add a case. So right click, add case, double click the case and go random and this is go 0 0.33 then inside go add inside the active fire command give it the tag of gun 3 position and then so be waypoint 2 select main gun and we want to select deviate um, click OK and then add inside a delay of um, let's just go five seconds click the case folder and go alt C and just change the waypoint positioning to waypoint three then go to switch folder right click and go default and then just copy the same commands we just did so active fire, command gun three, position, uh, waypoint four, deviate, long burst, uh, main gun, and do a delay of five seconds. And then outside for that, add the trigger command, gun three. And we can add another delay as well. So we just go click delay, go Alt C, then click that delay command and go Alt up arrow. And let's just do uh, 10 seconds. 
All right, let's see if that all works nicely. Oops. So that second gun shouldn't fire anymore. He's fired over there. Waypoint four. And then he's shooting over. Trying to fire at waypoint two, as you can see there. His second gun shouldn't fire for another 20 seconds. Oh, 20 seconds. No, it was the first. One. Still waiting for the first gun to fire. Again. There you go. So that, sorry, the second gun is done firing. No more. You can see how this one's alternating between the waypoints. I think he's still yet to fire. Yeah, oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. And then, yeah, we wait 20 more seconds and the first gun will fire again. There you go. Cool. that is how you create artillery uh, using artillery units uh, and that is also three ways of doing it um, very simple ways but uh, effective um, yeah pretty much it for the end of the video guys if you enjoyed this and learned something give it a thumbs up uh, any issues, comment down below. Um, please subscribe. Uh, share the video if you like. All the support counts, and I appreciate all the support you guys are, are giving me. Um, and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.